Welcome to the Big Bad Chopper's uh, frame manufacturing facility. Right here is the very beginning of how we build frames. If you look over here to my right, you'll actually see the raw tubing that we use for frame manufacturing. Now this is a special tubing and it's called drawn over mandrel uh, steel tubing. It's very high quality and it's also seamless. We cut sections of tubing up to 100 pieces at a time, uh, bend them, and then we go ahead and coat those pieces of tubing to supply the frame builders with the pieces that they need. Once we have those pieces of tubing cut into different lengths and bent, they come over here to the mills and we set the tubing into the vices here with the fixtures that we have and then we go ahead and cope the tubing. As you can see, the wall thickness of the backbone of the frame is very, very heavy. So what we've done is we have such a heavy wall backbone is to, to totally reduce that harmonic vibration. On top of that, of course, we have an exceptionally smooth engine that we developed with SNS. Once all these uh, pieces of frame tubing have been mitered and cut and bent and so forth, uh, we're ready to build a frame. And the frame builder is going to come over here and, and put his neck, the neck of the frame, which has come from the CNC shop, under the fixture, and then he can start attaching the different pieces of tubing that go into the fixture uh, and tacking that up. And once he gets that welded to a certain point, then he takes the frame out of the fixture, and then we take that over to second stage welding, and I'll take you over there. Okay, this is second stage welding. And what we're actually doing here uh, is completing the welding uh, of the frame. We can't do it all in the fixture because there's, there's too much going on. So what we do to stop the frame from moving around is we bolt these big thick plates in into the frame, which stops the, the frame from bending or moving from the heat that we're going to put into it from the welding. Uh, it works out very, very well. Uh, once Jaime is finished doing all the, the second stage welding, uh, the welds are inspected by him. The welds are also inspected by our mock-up guys. Now once the frame's done here, the swing arm's done, the fuel tanks and, and oil tanks and so forth, it all comes over here, and I'll take you over there right now, is where we actually mock everything up to ensure the fitment is absolutely 100% correct. Let's go. Okay, as you can see here, we're mocking this frame up. We have a, an engine in here, a transmission, a primary. Uh, the swing arm is going to get the rear wheel, a uh, seat, gas tank, and it's going to be all signed off. And there's probably a good 160 checkpoints uh, that have to be signed for in the quality control process of our frame tanks and fenders. It's very important to us uh, to get this 100% right. In the process of building fuel tanks, we don't beat smash, roll, hammer our fuel tank sheet metal. It is all deep drawn in a very controlled environment and a very slow process so that the metal retains its um, integrity for a fuel vessel. And as you can see, the bottom of our fuel tank is actually deep drawn in one shot process, meaning that the tunnel and the bottom of the tank is all in one. What I want to point out to you right here, which is very, very important when looking at uh, fenders and things, as you can see, this fender is manufactured using the deep draw process. And as you can see, it's all one piece, which is very, very important because when you weld two halves together and you have that weld in the center, it has a tendency to crack if you have an engine that vibrates an awful lot. This is our oil tank section. We build all the oil tanks in-house. Uh, all of the oil tanks, uh, the pieces for the oil tanks, are laser cut in here. Uh, quality control, pressure testing, uh, the gauge of the steel is high quality. Let me show you this one over here going together. It's a DOM tubing. We use a seamless tubing even inside the oil tanks for the oil lines. Again, all the fittings are machined in-house by Big Bear. The oil tanks are designed, as you can see, it has been laser cut. And let me take you over to the laser cutter. Here's our laser cutter. Um, all I do know is that we do an awful lot of laser cutting. And by having this type of equipment in our possession in the company, uh, and manufacturing these, these manufacturing processes uh, in-house and, and, and doing it ourselves is extremely important for production reasons and also the QC, the quality control. And also our design work is always fresh because if we need to manipulate something, we can do it right now on a dime. We can turn on a dime. And that's so important in the manufacturing, uh, being in this industry, in the manufacturing process, to be able to turn on a dime and, and basically get things done right now. And that's exceptionally important, very important. All right, I just quickly wanted to show you our Springer front end. Of course, it's made right here in-house. Uh, our rear legs are 4130, which is a high carbon steel. 
On top of that, what we did is when you weld a mild steel uh, triple tree to a 4130 uh, tube, uh, it inherently has uh, a tendency to want to crack um, because it's a high carbon steel against a uh, mild steel. So what we did to uh, counteract that 100% was put it in a, in a tube inside of our Springer right here, as you, if you can see that down in there. It's a very high uh, wall thickness in a tube. And what that does is it allows the metal, the heat from uh, the weld, to evenly disperse into the tube and the triple tree at the same time. And that uh, absolutely 100% stops any cracking. Now that we've discussed the frame manufacturing process, this particular uh, shop here supports the frame shop and also the warehouse on all kinds of parts. In our machine shop, we manufacture the primary, uh, the lower legs, the fork controls, um, and other various parts uh, for the warehouse and the CNC shop. We start off with a, a billet aluminum here, uh, one solid round piece goes through the lathe, it gets a gun drilling process, which is a huge tool that drills the center of this out to very high accuracy for the, uh, for the bushings and everything, for the operation of the hydraulic lower legs in the front of the vehicle. Uh, and then it goes through other various operations in the milling machine and the lathe to put in uh, bolts and, and uh, holes through for axles and all kinds of stuff. What you're witnessing right now is a master cylinder for the rear brake being machined. And here's one right here, ready for polish and chrome. So this is a Haas machine made right here in California. American machines making American motorcycles. The bottom line is this. Quality control, control of uh, inventory, control of the quality, uh, control of the design is exceptionally important to us and uh, I think it is exceptionally important to our consumers as well.